Welcome back. Could one single congressional district in Nebraska decide the election? Maybe. The Cornhusk only the Cornhusker state and Maine are the two states that allot their electoral votes by congressional district. That means that if there was going to be a tie in the Electoral College, it would happen in eastern Nebraska. Senior national correspondent Brian Enton continues his tour along Interstate 80 to find out what's driving the vote. Nebraska, beef, Buffett, and baseball. The home of the College World Series is now in center spotlight for an altogether different reason, as home of the blue dot. It certainly has the attention of this diverse group of voters who News Nation brought together in Omaha's second congressional district. That's the one that sometimes goes blue. Nebraska is not a winner-takes-all state when it comes to the presidential election, which is unusual. Um, raise your hand if you like that. Here, party lines prevail, Republicans wanting to go back to winner-takes-all. I think it's us and Maine are the only two states that give up the uh, congressional districts to separate them. Um, I think there should, should be consistency in, the, in every uh, state, so I would like to just see some consistency. Yet many Democrats like that the state legislature has stood up to GOP efforts to roll back Nebraska's unique way of awarding electors. I don't believe in winner-take-all. I don't think it matches the people's choices as well as it should. And I think there's too many enclaves within states that are not represented by that. The district not defined by the blue dot alone. Here, where Interstate 80 runs just south of downtown, registered Republicans outnumber Democrats, and immigration sparks debate. We're on I-80. We're, we're right in the middle of the country, and we there's a lot of trafficking that comes right through here. Uh, human trafficking is a big problem. D drug trafficking is a huge problem. First language was Spanish. I learned English. I'm successful. I mean, I'm the example that not all people that come from immigrants are bad people. In many respects, this district becomes a microcosm of society. University of Nebraska Omaha professor Randy Atkins teaches campaigns and elections in the heart of the state's second congressional district. He's happy to see the nation learning about how the Cornhusker state handles the race for the White House. It is unique. I think it is more democratic with a small d. Uh, in the sense that, you know, even the minority is represented somehow in the state uh, uh, in the Electoral College vote, which doesn't happen in 48 of the 50 states. So, or at least there's a possibility of that. Diverse views at times heated among our voters. My grandchildren, I want the ability for them to have a say in my body, my right to decide what I do with my body, not having the government dictate what they do with their bodies. It's not their body, it's not their choice. You know, it, that body is a separate entity, a separate human being. But a little mixing and some uniquely Nebraska nibbles. So this is Nebraska. This is Nebraska. Creates a strong recipe of community, bolstered by smart, civil discussion. We're all going to be all over the country watching uh, what's happening on Election Day. You're going to be here in Omaha, Nebraska, in this district uh, that could really make a difference. How does that feel? I'm excited. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I spent a lot of time praying. <laughs> okay. I really do. That's the great thing about our country is that the people will decide. I'm going to vote multiple times. <laughs> Chicago? <laughs> Thanks, Brian. We don't have many polls from Nebraska's second district, but the ones we do have shown the vice president with a substantial lead. But in the very, very unlikely event that we are heading to an electoral college deadlock at 269, 269, and the House of Representatives ends up deciding the election, it would mean Donald Trump holding all of the red wall states, Kamala Harris holding all of the blue wall states, and then Trump flipping this one single district in the middle of the country. As I say, not likely, but this has been an election of unlikeliness in a lot of ways. So keep it in mind on election night. And don't miss the rest of our cross-country political series, Driving the Vote. That's on the Hill, the weekday show this week at 6 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.